Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, so I had to come and do this quick update. So as you guys all know, I was sitting here editing the whole drama between Cardi B and Azealia Banks that went down yesterday, which was Friday. Well, as of today, Azealia Banks replied back to Cardi about an hour ago. And when I tell you Azealia Banks drug Cardi B for the filth, it got so bad that Cardi B has now deleted her entire Instagram. It says user unable to be found. She's made her Twitter page private. And right now, Azealia Banks and Cardi B are trending all over social media. The Barty gang is going crazy. Um, Azealia's fans are like just cheering her on. I mean, this entire situation is nuts, okay? I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what Azealia Banks said to Cardi that made Cardi and her team basically delete everything and reevaluate their life. So Azealia Banks says, Bacallus, sis, give it up. You have a fever and you are leaking breast milk everywhere, trying to come up with a refutable comeback. Sis spent 12 hours pre-fruiting a message while still completely missing the point. You and whoever wrote this reply for you don't have the intelligence to engage in this not-so-complex discussion. I spoke about it for all of two minutes in an interview, and you responded by calling me unattractive, mentioning my bleaching my skin, and telling me to suck your ass, immediately proving yourself to be exactly who I thought you were, a bird. Sis, let's not forget that you look like a big toe with a hammer nail without all that contour on your face. You are a very mediocre looking light skinned woman with cold sore scars on both sides of your mouth. A coated tongue that you love to wag around. <laughs> Lord, I can barely read this. Azealia Banks is, oh my gosh, she's reading her. She says, you have a coated tongue you love to wag around and horribly deep set eyes for your, <laughs> for your, for your information, I bleached my skin due to severe breakouts that I had from Depo-Provera shot. Some dark-skinned women have problems with hyperpigmentation, and it takes years for our scars to fade. Once again, you missed the point. The color of my skin has absolutely nothing to do with the greater discussion surrounding black women's culture and our representation in the media. From what I know, you have always identified as a Latina. You've only recently began identifying as black once you became part of hip hop and felt pressured to represent women you so often called burnt, bald headed roaches. Even so, it's clear that you are having a problem with, with this newfound proximity to blackness as evidenced by your propensity to turn around in all attempts to engage you in these important cultural discussions into full sympathetic crybaby rants about how you're just a dumb bitch from the hood who never asked to be a role model. Reverse psychology will not work here. As a black woman in hip hop, it is imperative that you use your newfound black womanhood responsibly. Saying things to Rolling Stone like I don't even use condoms when HIV remains a threat to many minority girls who patronize your music Music is irresponsible. I suggest you leave these cultural conversations alone for now. You don't have the range. Honey, when I tell you, and shout out to A.A. Ronnie who sent me that. When I first read it, I was just like, oh my goodness, my mouth just dropped open. When I tell you, Azealia Banks is not here for it, and right now, social media is divided. A lot of people agree with her. Of course, it's bringing up the great colorism debate. I mean, it's so much drama going on, especially being that Cardi B has now deleted her Instagram, and she's made her Twitter private. So now, before Cardi B decided to make everything private and to delete her Instagram, she wrote one last rant for Azealia Banks. So this is what Cardi B had had to say. Cardi B says, I reread this a couple of times for the Aquilas and the Bs out there. A woman who constantly finds joy in belittling black women, Beyonce, Rihanna, Sky Jackson, Remy Ma, can't try and stand for them because it's convenient. The difference between me and you is I never pretended to be or represent somebody I'm not. I've made it where I am from being myself and staying true to that. I'm not trying to represent nobody but myself. You busy trying to be the voice of reason and the representation of women of color when you can't even reason with yourself. You can't understand where your insecurities come from and why you're not happy in your own skin. So you think because you can't figure your shit out that you can create confusion for me and make me unsure about who I am, 
I know who I am, a daughter to a Hispanic father and a Caribbean mother, and I am proud of that. I have never dismissed my heritage or my culture, and I've never pretended to sound like anyone or look like anyone for attention or to make me feel better about who I'm not. I've been this way always. You think because someone uses a lot of big words and long sentences that makes them smart? How smart are you if you don't know what the meaning of illiterate means? To not know how to read or write. I can do both. I speak two languages fluently. Just because I mix a few words up and forget to use commas and misspell a few words does not make me illiterate and it doesn't make me stupid. And because I laugh a little louder or talk a little louder does not make me a caricature. You think you're advocating for women and you're doing the opposite. I pray you find peace in your own heart and reason in your own mind. Pray for your own success before you pray for the downfall of others. So that is what Miss Cardi B had to say, honey. She's just tired of it. She does not want to go back and forth with Azealia Banks. And I don't blame her. Like, let's keep it real. You know, I see where Azealia Banks is coming from. And I agree with a lot of that read that she said. But my issue with Azealia Banks is this. And you guys know I've covered her from day one on my channel. And what she says can be very problematic because Azealia Banks has disrespected countless black men and women in her rants. She's gone in on people's skin tones. I remember when she caught that one dark skin girl, a tar baby. She's promoted skin bleaching. So she's done a lot of like just disrespectful things towards other black women. So that's why even though I understand her rant, I understand where she's coming from. It also ends up being kind of problematic because of her history and the things that she's done and said to other people who look just like her. So I understand where Cardi B's coming from as well for calling Azalea Banks out on that. I think if anybody else said the same thing and they didn't have as many issues with so many black people in the industry I think it would definitely be received a lot better but when it's coming from Azealia Banks it definitely makes people give her the side eye because again she's called other black people tar baby she's gone in on other black people other black women she's been very very problematic she said a lot of racist and homophobic things herself so that's why a lot of times when Azealia Banks goes off she tends to be dismissed but I do understand where she's coming from and she made a lot of valid points but again like I've said before I have absolutely no dog in this fight whatsoever you know what I'm saying but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everybody's tweets comments and what people have to say about this situation go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary <laughs> Cardi B has never pretended to be more than what she is, okay? And I also think that honestly, with all of this drama going on and everybody going back and forth and bickering and adding her, I think it's better that Cardi B just delete her Instagram and take a break off of social media altogether, especially being that she is pregnant. Right now, like I said, social media is going crazy. Some people are, you know, agreeing with Cardi, their team Cardi. Other folks are agreeing with Azealia Banks. Literally, Twitter is divided right now, okay? This entire situation is nuts. 
All of this happened about 40 minutes ago. So I'm bringing this to you guys fresh off the press. That's why I had to hurry up and make a part two. I don't have any more commentary towards this. I'm going to leave the ball in y'all's court. Go ahead and leave a comment and let me know how you guys feel about Azealia Banks reading Cardi B for the filth and Cardi B basically disappearing right now off of social media, which I think is probably best for her to do. Being that she is pregnant, she does not need the stress and the, you know, the anxiety and all the drama that comes with the trolling and whenever stuff like this happens. So I think it's better that she just stays away from social media. But let's go ahead and get the discussion popping concerning what Azealia Banks had to say to her. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.